I said, hey, I'm here now. If I lose, I'm going out on my shield. You gotta, you gotta kill me. What's up, everybody? Derek Ting here. Welcome to Be Super. Today we have former International Kickboxing Federation Light Heavyweight World Champion, Kung Lee. I always loved martial arts, and I started martial arts when I was 10 because I was getting bullied a lot. I was never consistent, so I never got my belt. Then eventually, after uh, my second year in college, I ended up uh, going back to martial arts, and from there, you know, I, I found the right fit for me. Did you feel like you're just a natural at wrestling or? When I jumped on the mat, I felt like I, I had something to prove. Being bullied and picked on and called names, I had an outlet. So I use that as an outlet. Can I ask you, I mean, you talked about the bullying too. I want to uh, understand a little, a little of that better too as well. Well, the bullying started where I was getting beat up. Don't go to start trouble. But if someone's picking on you, fight back. I went out to the US Opens by myself flew, no coaching, no one cornered me. And I fought and I won my weight division. I'm going back to the corner and I had no corner. I was like, oh man. You know, a lot of people say, oh, keep your teacup, you know, empty. For me, it's keep my teacup half empty because I already come in with knowledge. But the other half is to learn. In order to be the best martial arts that you can be, you always have to be the student of the game. You know, people start talking, oh, that'd be a great fight, Kung Lee versus Frank Shamrock. Mm -hmm. A lot of talks was like, hey, you know, you should fight Frank. And then um, I just didn't pay any attention. I knew I had to keep getting better, keep getting better. I remember Frank was commentating and right away he called me out. He called me out after that fight. I think he he saw a lot of like holes that he can expose. Wow, so you've had to kind of do it on your own in a, in a sense, I think, yeah. and find your way and what works for you. Kind of where's your mind at when you're right about to, you know, pretty much match up? It depends on the training, right? If I had a great camp, I'm, I'm feeling great. But then when I went over to UFC, the fighters are pushed. How am I supposed to clear my foot? Or how am I supposed to clear my elbow? When, when with the UFC, my hands were, were tied. But I said, hey, I'm here now. If I lose, I'm going out on my shield. You gotta, you gotta kill me, you know, to win. Ultimate Fighter China, and you experienced that because I know you were there, you were a mentor and coach. And what was your experience there, like kind of? training a lot of the um, Actually, athletes. If I would have opted out of that, basically then I get put on the back burner. At one point you, you, you get like like unmotivated because like you don't know what's gonna happen. I just look back and I just feel, okay, instead of complaining about it, thank you God for letting me experience this journey. To me, you feel like a person that doesn't complain and kind of go rolls, rolls with what, whatever, but then so then for you to take a stand on something, I think that's um, you know very brave. At least I know what kind of person I would I am in these kind of situations. I will not quit.